Hi, my name is Ed Loftus. I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and I specialize in the evaluation and care of patients with ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. And a question that I get asked at least a couple times a week it relates to concerns about the safety of some of the medications we use uh, for treating these conditions. And specifically, many patients are worried about the safety of the immunosuppressives we use, which means azathioprine, mercaptopurine, methotrexate, or about the biologic therapies, and these include the anti-TNF agents such as infliximab, adalimumab, and sertilizumab pegol, and also the antibody to adhesion molecule natalizumab. And people are concerned, A, about infectious risk, and B, about cancer. So let's talk about this, and let's think about, let's not think just about the risks in isolation. Let's think about the total picture. You have to look at the benefits and the risks. So when we talk about risks of therapy, you have to distinguish between relative risk and absolute risk. Relative risk means what is my risk compared to a person in the general population, whereas absolute risk is what is my actual risk. And to sum up the issue here, for any of these complications we're talking about, yes, the relative risk might be elevated, and sometimes it might be three or four times higher for that particular event. However, in virtually all cases, the absolute risk, meaning what's your personal risk, remains low. And the way I think about it is, is if you have something that is low risk in the general population and you multiply that risk by three or four, it's still a low number. If you take one in 10,000 and multiply it by three, it's one in 3,300. It's still a very low risk, even though the relative risk technically is elevated. So for infections, uh, people are concerned that these drugs might increase the risk of serious infection. And yes, it's been shown with the anti-TNF agents that about two to three percent of people a year can have a serious infection. Um, however, uh, just having Crohn's disease in general um, can increase your risk of having a serious infection. And you, again, have to look at not just the risk, but also the benefit. And the benefits of some of these drugs is, are that they can cut your risk of requiring surgery or hospitalization by half or more, and you have to look at that potential benefit versus the risk. In other words, think about what's the risk of not taking the medication. If you don't take that medication, you have the risk of requiring continued steroid use, uh, the risk of hospitalization, and the risk of surgery. The same issue comes up with cancer risk with these medications, um, specifically two types of cancer that we talk about. One is lymphoma, which is a lymph node cancer, and one are the uh, non-melanoma skin cancers like basal cell and squamous cell. And yes, your relative risk is elevated, uh, again, maybe three to fourfold, but your absolute risk of getting a lymphoma on these medications is somewhere between one in 1,500 or one in 2,000. And that's a very, very low risk. And over my 15 years of practice uh, in seeing patients with inflammatory bowel disease, I've seen less than 10 people who've had lymphoma associated with these medications. So the absolute risk remains very, very low. And you have to look at the big picture um, if you wanted to try to quantify this mathematically, you can do decision analysis models, and in virtually every scenario, the potential benefit of the medication is going to outweigh these potential risks. So try to wrap your mind around this concept of absolute versus relative risk, and then also think about the benefit, not just the risk, when you analyze these situations. Thanks a lot.